In the 1977 adventure film The Deep, based on Peter Benchley's novel, the plot revolves around the discovery of a morphine ampoule from a World War II freighter. The main characters, David and Gail, portrayed by Nick Nolte, and Jacqueline Bissett, stumble upon this mysterious object while diving in Bermuda. This finding sets the stage for a series of events that created quite a stir among the movie's audience. In the 1977 movie The Deep, a romantic adventure turns into a dangerous game of cat and mouse with a Haitian drug gang. The couple, played by Jacqueline Bisset and Nick Nolte, stumbles upon a sunken treasure while scuba diving during their Caribbean vacation. Unbeknownst to them, their discovery puts them in the crosshairs of a ruthless gang led by Clush, portrayed by Louis Gossett Jr. The couple's luck takes a turn for the better when they meet Romer Tress, a seasoned treasure seeker played by Robert Shaw. With his help, they hope to find the treasure before the gang does. However, the stakes are high, and the danger is real as they navigate the treacherous waters of the Caribbean. As the couple and Tress dive deeper into their quest, they find themselves in increasingly perilous situations. Cloche and his gang will stop at nothing to claim the treasure for themselves, and the trio must use all their wits and cunning to stay one step ahead. Throughout the movie, the tension between the treasure hunters and the drug gang builds to a thrilling climax. The couple and Tress must rely on each other to survive, and their bond grows stronger as they face each challenge together. In the end, the movie delivers a satisfying resolution, with the treasure hunters outsmarting the gang and claiming their prize. However, the real treasure is the unbreakable bond formed between the couple and Tress as they faced insurmountable odds together. In summary, The Deep is a classic adventure film that combines romance, danger, and suspense in a thrilling tale of treasure hunting and survival. With its stunning underwater cinematography and talented cast, the movie remains a beloved favorite among older adults. The Deep, a movie released in 1977, was inspired by the Bermuda shipwreck constellation that sank in 1942. The film's production was influenced by this historical event and the storyline revolves around the underwater treasures and secrets that the shipwreck holds. The movie's filming started in July 1976 with open water diving scenes shot off Black Rock Point, Salt Island, near Peter Island. The filmmakers chose this location for its clear waters and rich marine life, which provided the perfect setting for the underwater scenes. The diving scenes were a significant part of the movie and the filmmakers wanted to ensure that they were as authentic and realistic as possible. In addition to the underwater scenes, land sequences were filmed on location in Bermuda and at the Great Barrier Reef in Australia. Bermuda's stunning landscapes and crystal clear waters added to the movie's visual appeal, while the Great Barrier Reef provided a breathtaking backdrop for some of the film's land sequences. The filmmakers wanted to capture the natural beauty of these locations, and they used the landscapes to enhance the movie's storyline. The use of real-life locations added to the movie's authenticity and helped to create a more immersive experience for the audience. Overall, the filming locations and land sequences in the deep played a crucial role in bringing the story to life. The use of real-life locations added to the movie's authenticity and helped to create a more immersive experience for the audience. The stunning visuals of the underwater scenes and the breathtaking backdrops of the land sequences made the deep a visual treat for the audience, making it a classic that continues to be enjoyed by older adults today. In the 1977 movie The Deep, the Rhone shipwreck played a significant role in the underwater scenes. The Rhone, which tragically sank in 1867, served as the perfect setting for filming, with the crew focusing on the bow section that lies 75 feet underwater. To ensure authenticity, several actors, including Jacqueline Bissett, Nick Nolte, Robert Shaw, and the director Peter Yates, all learned scuba diving for the film. The Rhone wreck, located near the British Virgin Islands, offered a captivating backdrop for this classic adventure film. As the cast and crew delved into the underwater world, they had to undergo rigorous scuba training to prepare for the challenging shoot. Learning to dive not only allowed them to navigate the wreckage skillfully, but also added a layer of realism to their performances. Under the guidance of experienced diving instructors, the actors acquired the necessary skills to film the intricate underwater scenes. They practiced equalizing their ears, mastering buoyancy control, and using essential diving equipment. As they became more comfortable in the water, they were able to focus on their acting, delivering compelling performances that resonated with audiences. The dedication of the cast and crew to learn scuba diving for the deep showcased their commitment to creating an engaging and authentic film. 
by immersing themselves in the underwater world of their own shipwreck. They added depth and realism to this classic adventure, leaving a lasting impact on the movie industry. To this day, the underwater scenes in the deep remain a testament to the power of immersive filmmaking and the lengths to which actors and directors will go to captivate their audience. In the intense eel scene of the deep, Bissette's character finds herself in a precarious situation when her arm gets yanked by a moray eel. The stunt double had to dislocate her shoulder for the scene, showcasing the dedication and bravery of the stunt team. The scene was executed in a remarkable way, with multiple cameras capturing the action from different angles in a single take. A diver, positioned out of sight, pulled a stick attached to the stunt double's wrist, creating the illusion of the eel attacking. The result is a thrilling and suspenseful scene that leaves audiences on the edge of their seats. The movie's commitment to realism and attention to detail is evident in this classic underwater adventure. Robert Shaw, the talented actor known for his role in Jaws, received a substantial payment of 650,000 plus percentage points for his part in the deep. This was based on his instinct and trust in the project, even before reading the script. Shaw's character in the movie was inspired by a real-life treasure seeker named Teddy Tucker. Tucker's expertise and personal experiences in treasure hunting greatly influenced the development of Shaw's character. Interestingly, Tucker not only helped write the novel but also consulted on the film. Teddy Tucker's adventure spirit and deep-sea exploration skills provided a rich source of inspiration for Shaw's portrayal. The character's authenticity and intrigue can be attributed to Tucker's real-life experiences and knowledge. This classic film benefited greatly from Shaw's commitment and the fascinating background of its source material. The filming of The Deep was no small feat, with the shoot lasting an impressive 153 days. The underwater scenes were particularly challenging, requiring a total of 8,895 dives and 10,870 person hours beneath the waves. The crew and actors truly went above and beyond to bring this classic to life. Initially, director Peter Yates had doubts about casting Nick Nolte in the lead role. Nolte himself was also hesitant about taking on the part. However, despite these initial reservations, Nolte ultimately took on the role and delivered a memorable performance. Columbia Pictures executives were initially not on board with Nolte's casting, as they believed he lacked the star power necessary for a blockbuster film. However, Nolte's talent and dedication to the role proved them wrong. In the end, the hard work and determination of the cast and crew paid off, resulting in a thrilling and visually stunning film that has stood the test of time. In the production of the 1977 movie The Deep, producer Peter Goober played a significant role in shaping the final product. Goober was determined to cast Nick Nolte for the lead role, even though the actor was not the first choice for the part. Goober's persistence paid off, and Nolte was eventually cast in the film. However, the road to Nolte's casting was not without its challenges. Goober and Nolte had a tense meeting during which the producer had to convince the actor to take on the role. Nolte was hesitant at first, but Goober's conviction and belief in his talent ultimately won him over. Once filming began, there were further challenges to overcome. Lead actress Jacqueline Bissett and Nolte did not get along initially, leading to a tense atmosphere on set. However, as filming progressed, the two actors began to develop a romantic relationship, which helped to improve their working relationship and the overall dynamic of the production. Despite the initial difficulties, The Deep went on to become a successful and beloved film, thanks in large part to the efforts of producer Peter Goober and the chemistry between its two leads. The movie's thrilling underwater scenes and engaging storyline continue to captivate audiences to this day. The main movie poster of this classic, The Deep, bears a striking resemblance to that of Jaws. It features a girl, Gail Burke, struggling to swim to the top, with a suspenseful tagline that leaves viewers on the edge of their seats. The search for the perfect actress to embody Gail Burke was no easy feat. The casting directors held a major talent search, scouting for a fresh face with star quality. Ultimately, their search led them back to Jacqueline Bissett, who stole the show with her undeniable charm and talent. Bissett's portrayal of Gail Burke was nothing short of captivating. Her ability to convey fear, determination, and vulnerability in a single scene was truly remarkable. The character of Gail Burke was instrumental in driving the plot forward, and Bissett's performance was a critical component of the film's success. The movie's poster and casting of Gail Burke were just a few of the many elements that contributed to its enduring popularity. 
the suspenseful storyline, compelling characters, and stunning underwater cinematography all combine to create a cinematic experience that has stood the test of time. In the deep, Bissett's portrayal of Gail Burke was not just a performance, it was a testament to her talent and versatility as an actress. Her ability to bring the character to life in such a vivid and memorable way left an indelible mark on the film and on audiences everywhere. It's no wonder that the casting directors searched far and wide for the perfect actress to play Gail Burke, ultimately finding their star in Jacqueline Bissett. In 1977, The Deep showcased Bissett's talent and allure, propelling her to stardom. The opening scene where she emerges from the ocean in a wet t-shirt left audiences in awe and solidified her status as a Hollywood sex symbol. The film's producer even claimed that this scene significantly contributed to the movie's financial success. Bissett's performance was a game changer, and her impact on the industry was undeniable. Her beauty and charm captivated audiences, making The Deep a must-see classic. Bissett's legacy in this film remains significant, and her performance continues to resonate with viewers to this day. Without a doubt, her role in The Deep marked a pivotal moment in her career and the movie's success. The Deep, a 1977 movie, has left a lasting impression on its viewers and remains a memorable classic from the 70s. This film is particularly notable for Bassett's iconic performance that has resonated with audiences for decades. Set in Bermuda, the movie follows the story of a young couple, David and Gail, who discover a mysterious shipwreck while scuba diving. As they explore the sunken vessel, they uncover a stash of morphine bricks and a valuable golden amulet, which draws the attention of ruthless treasure hunters and dangerous sharks. Bissett's portrayal of Gail, a fearless and adventurous woman, is one of the standout aspects of the movie. Her character is instrumental in the duo's quest to uncover the shipwreck's secrets, showcasing her courage and determination. Bissett's performance is captivating, and she brings depth and nuance to a character that could have easily been reduced to a mere sidekick. The movie's underwater scenes are also noteworthy, with impressive cinematography that transports viewers to the depths of the ocean. The film's use of practical effects, such as real sharks and underwater sets, adds to its authenticity and helps to create a sense of tension and excitement. Despite being over four decades old, The Deep remains a classic that continues to resonate with audiences. The set's iconic performance is a significant part of the film's enduring appeal, and her portrayal of Gail has left a lasting impact on the world of cinema. Whether you're a fan of adventure movies or simply appreciate a well-acted performance, the Deep is a show that is worth checking out. Released in 1977, The Deep quickly gained popularity and left a lasting impact on popular culture. The movie, which starred Jacqueline Bissett and Nick Nolte, was an adventure film that took audiences on a thrilling ride beneath the sea. During its time, The Deep received positive reviews from both audiences and critics alike. Its stunning underwater photography and exciting storyline captivated viewers, making it a box office success. The film's popularity also led to a surge in interest in marine exploration and conservation. The impact of The Deep went beyond just its initial release. The movie spawned a number of spin-offs, merchandise, and adaptations. A novelization of the film was released, as well as a soundtrack album featuring the movie's memorable theme song. The film's success also led to the creation of a short-lived television series, which aired in 1979. Moreover, The Deep has had a lasting impact on popular culture. Its iconic imagery, such as the glowing treasure and the distinctive diving helmet, have become enduring symbols of underwater adventure. The film has also inspired numerous other movies and television shows that explore the mysteries of the deep sea. In conclusion, The Deep was a groundbreaking movie that left a lasting impact on popular culture. Its thrilling storyline, stunning visuals, and memorable characters captured the hearts of audiences and critics alike, leading to a surge in interest in marine exploration and conservation. The movie's legacy continues to resonate today, inspiring new generations of viewers to explore the mysteries of the deep sea. The Deep, a 1977 adventure film, brought together a talented cast through a fascinating selection process. Director Peter Yates wanted Jacqueline Bissett for the female lead, Gail Burke. Bissett had already proven her acting chops in films like Bullet and The Detective. Her natural beauty and credible acting made her an ideal fit for the role. For the male lead, actor Nick Nolte was cast as David Sanders. Nolte, known for his work in television, was a relatively new face in Hollywood. 
Yeats was impressed by his raw energy and thought he would be perfect for the adventurous role. Nolte was initially hesitant about the underwater scenes, but was eventually convinced. The film also featured Robert Shaw as Admiral Cessnire Pickering. Having already worked with Yates in the film, the Sting Shaw's commanding presence and acting experience made him a natural choice for the role. The casting of the young local boy, Cable, was equally interesting. Eli Wallach, who played the character of Klaus, suggested his 10-year-old son, Peter, for the part. After a successful audition, Peter Wallach was cast as Cable, marking his film debut. The chemistry between Bissette and Nolte was vital for the film's success. To ensure this, the pair was sent on a boat trip together before filming began. This excursion allowed them to build rapport and trust, which translated beautifully on screen. One pivotal moment during casting involved the underwater scenes. Many actors were hesitant to perform these scenes due to the technical difficulties and potential risks. However, Bisset, Nolte, and the rest of the cast were committed to the project and underwent extensive training to make the underwater sequences as authentic as possible. In conclusion, the casting process for The Deep required careful consideration and a keen eye for talent. Yates' ability to recognize the right actors for each role, as well as his commitment to fostering a strong cast dynamic, ultimately led to the film's success. Peter Yates, the director of The Deep, brought a unique vision to this adventure film. With a background in documentaries, Yates favored realism over artificiality. He aimed to create an authentic underwater world, employing innovative techniques to capture the beauty and danger of the ocean depths. Yates's creative influences included the French New Wave movement, which emphasized naturalism and spontaneity. This is evident in the film's character-driven narrative and the actor's improvisational performances. He also drew inspiration from the work of pioneering underwater cinematographers, seeking to push the boundaries of what had been achieved before. Collaboration was key to Yates's approach. He worked closely with his cast, including Jacqueline Bisset and Nick Nolte, encouraging them to develop their characters through improvisation. He fostered a supportive environment that allowed actors to take risks and explore their roles in depth. Yates's collaboration with the crew was equally important. He worked hand-in-hand -hand with the film's cinematographer, Michael Sirison, to develop a visual style that would immerse viewers in the underwater setting. They used cutting-edge technology, such as specially designed waterproof cameras and lighting equipment, to capture the vivid hues and textures of the marine environment. Moreover, Yates consulted with marine biologists and diverged to ensure the film's accuracy. This commitment to realism extended to the production design with meticulously crafted replicas of shipwrecks and other underwater structures. In summary, Peter Yates's directorial vision for The Deep was marked by a dedication to realism, a focus on character-driven narratives, and a spirit of collaboration. His innovative techniques and attention to detail resulted in a visually stunning and emotionally resonant film that continues to captivate audiences today. The Deep, a 1977 adventure film, took viewers on a thrilling journey to the ocean floor. The set design was a crucial element in creating this underwater world. Production designer Joe Alves aimed to replicate the novel's description of Bermuda's eerie, sunken shipwrecks. He created detailed models of the wrecks, which were then submerged in a 50-foot deep water tank for filming. The filming locations added to the production's challenges. Scenes were shot in various places, including Bermuda, the Bahamas, and New York's Rockefeller Center ice rink. The latter was transformed into a convincing underwater setting through the use of lighting and mirrors. One of the most significant logistical challenges was filming underwater scenes. The production team had to devise a way to keep the cameras dry while capturing clear images. They achieved this by encasing the cameras in watertight housings, an innovative technique at the time. The film's protagonists, played by Jacqueline Bisset and Nick Nolte, had to learn scuba diving for their roles. This added another layer of complexity to the production, as the actors had to be filmed underwater, often in challenging conditions. Despite these challenges, The Deep was a visual feast, thanks to the innovative techniques and technologies employed during production. The film's success is a testament to the dedication and creativity of the production team, who managed to bring the deep sea's mysteries to life on the big screen. The Deep, a 1977 adventure film, features a memorable score and soundtrack that perfectly complement the movie's narrative and emotional tone. Composed by John Barry, the music is a testament to his skill in creating moving and memorable film scores. John Barry was an accomplished composer, known for his work on the James Bond films. 
For the deep, he aimed to create something unique. In an interview, he shared, I didn't want to do the obvious thing and just write a typical adventure score. The film's main theme, The Deep, is a haunting and beautiful piece that sets the tone for the entire movie. It features a melodic piano line accompanied by strings, creating a sense of longing and mystery. The track The Wreck is another standout, with its use of woodwinds and percussion to create a sense of urgency and danger. Barry's score also features a mix of Caribbean and reggae-inspired music, reflecting the film's setting in Bermuda. Tracks like Night Dive and The Escape incorporate these styles, adding a layer of cultural authenticity to the film. The soundtrack also includes popular songs from the time, such as Crystal Blue Persuasion by Tommy James and The Shondells and Street Life by Roxy Music. These songs add to the film's atmosphere and help to further establish its setting. In creating the score for The Deep, John Barry aimed to enhance the film's narrative and emotional tone. His use of unique instrumentation and genre blending creates a soundtrack that is both memorable and fitting for the film's adventure-filled storyline. The deep score and soundtrack are a crucial part of what makes the film so captivating. The music, whether it be the haunting main theme or the upbeat popular songs, perfectly complements the film's narrative and emotional tone, creating a truly immersive experience for viewers. One of the most iconic scenes in the 1977 movie, The Deep is the underwater cave exploration. The director, Peter Yates, masterfully builds tension as the characters, Gail and David, swim deeper into the cave, lit only by their dive lights. The audience can feel the danger escalating as the cave gets narrower and the flashlights flicker. Yates uses close-ups of the actors' faces to highlight their fear and determination. Cinematographer Christopher Chalice creates a stunning visual contrast between the dark, mysterious cave and the vibrant, colorful marine life outside. The underwater shots are breathtaking, with schools of fish and coral reefs adding a sense of beauty and tranquility to the scene. The cave's darkness, however, brings an ominous feeling, enhancing the sense of danger. The performances of Jacqueline Bissett as Gale and Nick Nolte as David are exceptional. Bissett portrays Gale as a strong, adventurous woman, while Nolte embodies David's courage and resilience. Their chemistry is palpable, making their characters' relationship believable and engaging. Bissette recalls the underwater scenes as challenging but rewarding. She had to learn scuba diving and hold her breath for long periods. Nolte, on the other hand, had to deal with the pressure changes which affected his ears. Despite these challenges, both actors delivered compelling performances that added depth to their characters. The cave exploration scene is a turning point in the movie, revealing a sunken ship filled with valuable artifacts. This discovery sets the stage for the rest of the film, as Gale and David become entangled in a dangerous treasure hunt. The scene leaves a lasting impact on the audience, setting a tone of adventure, danger, and mystery that permeates the entire movie. In an interview, Yates stated that the underwater scenes were the most challenging to film, but they also provided the most visual impact. He wanted to create a sense of wonder and danger, and the cave exploration scene perfectly encapsulates this vision. The Deep is a testament to the power of visual storytelling. The iconic cave exploration scene is a prime example of how direction, performance, and cinematography can work together to create a memorable and impactful movie moment. The Deep, a 1977 adventure film, left a significant imprint on audiences and pop culture. Its captivating underwater scenes and thrilling treasure hunt story resonated with moviegoers, making it a box office success. This film, starring Jacqueline Bisset, and Nick Nolte showcased the beauty and mystery of the ocean depths, inspiring a generation of viewers to explore the unknown. The Deep's influence even extended to the fashion world, with Bissett's character's wet t-shirt becoming a cultural phenomenon and a symbol of the era's relaxed attitudes towards beachwear. Moreover, The Deep contributed to discussions on environmental conservation. The film's portrayal of the ocean's fragile ecosystems and the dangers of overfishing sparked interest in marine biology and the protection of marine life. On a social level, the deep challenged gender norms by featuring a strong, independent female protagonist. The set's character, Gail, is a skilled diver who actively participates in the treasure hunt, defying the traditional gender roles of the time. In essence, the deep's cultural and social impact can be seen in its influence on pop culture, its contribution to environmental awareness, and its challenge to gender norms. This film, while over four decades old, continues to inspire and captivate audiences today. Upon its release in 1977,
The Deep received mixed reviews from critics. The film, directed by Peter Yates and based on a novel by Peter Benchley, was praised for its stunning underwater photography and thrilling adventure sequences. However, some critics criticized the plot and character development. Roger Ebert of the Chicago Sun-Times gave the film two out of four stars, writing that the photography is sometimes spectacular, but the human story is routine. He criticized the characters as paper-thin and the plot as predictable. On the other hand, Vincent Camby of the New York Times was more positive, calling the film a splendidly entertaining adventure melodrama and praising the underwater photography as extraordinary. The Deep was also a success with audiences, grossing over 47 million at the domestic box office. This success led to several award nominations for the film. The film received an Academy Award nomination for Best Sound, recognizing the work of Walter Goss, Dick Voracek, and Rick Alexander. It was also nominated for a BAFTA Award for Best Sound, as well as a Golden Globe Award for Best Original Score. The film's success and award nominations were significant for those involved in the production. For director Peter Yates, it was a chance to showcase his talent for action and adventure films, building on his success with Bullet and Steve McQueen's The Getaway. For cinematographer Christopher Chalice, the film's underwater photography was a chance to push the boundaries of what was possible with the technology of the time. The film's success helped to establish Chalice as a leading cinematographer in the industry. Overall, while The Deep received mixed reviews from critics, its success with audiences and award nominations were a testament to the film's thrilling adventure sequences and stunning underwater photography. The film's legacy continues to this day, with its influence still seen in modern adventure films. During the filming of The Deep in 1977, the crew faced a unique challenge. The script required them to film underwater scenes with a sunken treasure ship, but they couldn't find a real one. Instead, they built a replica of the ship, the Goliath, and submerged it off the coast of Bermuda. This massive undertaking involves sinking the ship in several stages, capturing the crew's determination and resourcefulness. Nick Nolte, one of the lead actors, had a memorable experience while filming. During a diving scene, he accidentally became entangled in a wire that was attached to a boat above. Unable to free himself, he had to be rescued by the standby diver. This incident highlighted the inherent dangers of filming underwater scenes and the importance of having a dedicated safety team on set. Jacqueline Bissett, Nolte's co-star, also had her fair share of challenges. She had to wear a specially designed diving suit that was supposed to keep her warm and dry during the underwater scenes. However, the suit often malfunctioned, leaving Bissett cold and uncomfortable. Despite these difficulties, she persevered and delivered a memorable performance. The making of The Deep was not without its lighter moments. Robert Shaw, who played the role of a grizzled treasure hunter, was known for his love of practical jokes. One day, he filled a fake sea urchin with mayonnaise and placed it on the ocean floor, waiting for an unsuspecting diver to come across it. When the diver discovered the urchin, he understandably reacted with surprise and disgust, much to Shaw's amusement. Despite the challenges and hazards, the cast and crew of The Deep managed to create a visually stunning film that has stood the test of time. The underwater scenes, in particular, remain a testament to their ingenuity and perseverance. From building a replica ship to braving cold water and treacherous sea creatures, the production of The Deep was a true adventure. The Deep, a 1977 adventure film, may not be as celebrated as other movies from the same era. However, it has left an undeniable mark on the film industry. Directed by Peter Yates, known for Bullet, and Breaking Away, The Deep was based on Peter Benchley's novel of the same name. Benchley also penned the novel Jaws, which was a blockbuster hit. The Deep, while not as commercially successful, still managed to attract audiences with its underwater scenes and treasure hunt narrative. The film's influence can be seen in the realm of underwater cinematography. The Deep featured some of the most impressive underwater sequences of its time, thanks to the work of cinematographer Christopher Chalice. These scenes set a new standard for underwater filming, inspiring future filmmakers to explore the depths of the ocean on screen. Moreover, the deep can be considered a precursor to the dive computer, a device used by scuba divers to monitor their depth and air supply. The film's protagonist, played by Jacqueline Bisset, uses a prototype of this device, which was a novelty at the time. The deep also had a significant impact on popular culture. The character of Gail Burke, portrayed by Bisset, is often cited as a sex symbol of the 1970s. 
and her iconic wet t-shirt scene has been referenced and parodied in numerous films and TV shows. In the world of literature, The Deep inspired a wave of underwater-themed adventure novels. Benchley's novel, along with the film adaptation, sparked interest in marine exploration and conservation, leading to an increase in the popularity of scuba diving and underwater photography. In conclusion, while The Deep may not be as revered as other films from the 1970s, its influence can be seen in various aspects of filmmaking, technology, and popular culture. Its innovative underwater cinematography, contribution to dive technology, and impact on adventure novels and pop culture have left an indelible mark on the world of cinema and beyond. The Deep, a 1977 movie, has left an impression on many viewers. Did you watch it too? We'd love to hear about your experiences and memories related to this film. Perhaps you were captivated by the underwater scenes, or maybe the storyline resonated with you. How did the deep influence your perspective on cinema? Did it inspire you to explore more adventure films? We encourage you to share your thoughts and engage with us. You can like this post, share your own story, and even subscribe for more cinematic explorations. Let's start a conversation and reminisce about this classic movie. Maybe you saw it at the theater, or perhaps it was a rental on a cozy night in. No matter where you watched it, we're sure the deep left a mark. So, tell us, how did this movie impact you personally? We're all...